Hey guys, it's Sean from Printies. Today we're back with another video talking about especially discharge inks versus Plastisol. So first of all, what is discharge ink? Discharge ink sits right into the fabric compared to Plastisol that sits on top. Today we have a great example that's going to show you how the ink absorbs right into the garment compared to Plastisol that sits on top. So we have two buckets of water right here. This is our discharge print, clear discharge on 50-50 blend. And this is 100% white Plastisol ink that sits right on top of the shirt. So it's a simple example to show you how Plastisol inks actually don't leave any ink sweat um, go through your shirt, actually blocks the fibers of the shirt compared to discharge that re-dyes your shirt similar to what you do with bleach um, so if you're bleaching some natural fiber shirts in your laundry, um, you'll see that the shirt is simply re-dyed. So today we have a small example, small test to show you exactly the differences between the two. So we have water in each gallon. One's going to go right through the shirt and the other one's going to be blocked by Plastisol. As you can see, the discharge print is going, the water is going right through the discharge print because it's not blocking any fibers of the shirt. The Plastisol print, I could, I mean, it's never going to go through. So think about your workwear or your gym apparel, um, especially during hot days, summer days, you have a large print on the back of your shirt or on the front of your shirt. Um, it's actually going to stick to yourself and not uh, let you breathe. So it's going to be hotter. Compared to discharge ink, where it's actually going to breathe and absorb all the water. So it's going to be a lot lighter on yourself compared to Plastisol. So depending on what you want to do, we're going to go and see exactly what discharge ink does on different types of material compared to Plastisol. Plastisol ink, since it sits on top of the fibers, is not affected by the, the type of shirt. Discharge ink only works on natural fibers. But there's a small thing that we can do, uh, for example, a 50-50 blend. If your syn synthetic fibers are not dyed, it actually discharge. So we're going to go on our presses today and show you exactly discharge works on what product and what it doesn't work on. Plastisol is great for everything and it's super vibrant. So let's uh, jump on the press. All right guys, so we're Matt today in production. He's gonna be the one testing out the clear discharge um, on different fabrics and see the end result. So Matt, you wanna talk to us about uh, the different types of shirt today that we're gonna print on? Uh, yeah, sure. So we have uh, here uh, eight t-shirts and the hoodie that we are gonna test with uh, discharge inks. Okay. Uh, we got uh, uh, three t-shirts three uh, with a 60-40 blend. So 60% uh, cotton and 40% polyester, polyester. And normally people say we can't really print discharge on 60 or 50-50 blends. Uh, we'll, we'll be able to see that today. So I see that we have two opaque shirts. Yeah, exactly. And we got one that is uh, ether. So okay. uh, uh, just to see the difference between uh, all of these. Uh, the colors. All of these colors. Yeah. Uh, we got here uh, a, a tri-blend. So it's a combination, combination of uh, Cotton, poly, and uh, rayon. Rayon. Yeah. yeah exactly. And this looks like a slub shirt, so it's super, super thin and, 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 and lightweight. It looks super comfortable as well. So I'm excited to see the end result on these shirts. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to test these two. And then we got a simple shirt, 100% cotton, uh, gilded in. So a classic t shirt. Yeah. We're going to test. And finally, we got our two uh, Udis. So this one, uh, a little bit more classic, like a 60 40 blend. And uh, this one is a uh, oh, this is nice premium Udi. So this one's a more uh, quality Udi. So the, it's uh, still a 60/40 blend, but with a 100% cotton face yarn. So so technically, this this print should be a lot more vibrant than the classic Guild N or ATC hoodie that you see yeah. for construction workers, things like that. Exactly. This more one should, should promotional. Print, okay. Should print re really well with discharge. So. so even if we're not printing with discharge and you're using your standard Plastisol. Uh, with your experience throughout the years, is there a difference whenever you're printing on a, a cheaper product compared to the more premium product, even even if you're not using discharge inks? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So the, the yarn you can see in both shirts, this one is a lot more open uh, compared to this one. This is a lot tighter knit. Um, it feels like a premium shirt, for yeah. sure. All right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Excited to jump in and see the end result. Yeah, let's go. All right.
Okay, so the results are in. Let's see what, we, what happened. First of all, we have our hoodies. As you can see right here on the promotional hoodie, the Gillinner ATC, uh, that doesn't have 100% cotton face yarn. You can absolutely see the, uh, very well the polyester, the synthetic fibers through the shirt because the ink um, is not being bleached, it's not being discharged. Compared to the 100% cotton face yarn, uh, the print is super vibrant. You can see the print very well compared to the 50-50, 50-50 shirt. On the 100% cotton shirt, the print is super vibrant, super soft. There's no uh, polyester, synthetic fibers that are coming through the print. It looks opaque, doesn't look vintage or distressed compared to the 50-50 blends. Now going through our tri-blend tri shirts. Uh, as you can see, depending on the synthetic fibers and the dye of the synthetic fiber, you're gonna have different results. On the slub uh, racerback bell kind of a shirt where the polyester fibers, um, as you can see right here, are white, are not being dyed, your print is gonna be somewhat vibrant. Your rayon part of the, of the, of the shirt is not, uh, is not white. So the, the print comes out vintage, but it's still a lot brighter than the tri-blend shirt where the polyester is dark and black. Uh, this is only 25% of cotton being discharged compared to this one. It's 25% 25, 25 cotton being discharged as well, except that your polyester synthetic fibers uh, are actually being re-dyed because they're not dyed at all. Let's go to our 60-40 blends on the Heather compared to the opaque shirts. Your Heather 50-50 blends or 60-40 blends uh, tend to have a very nice discharge friendly print because your, syn your synthetic fibers, similar to what we have with the tri-blend or the, the hoodies, are actually not dyed. So you can actually dye them with whatever color you want with your discharge ink. Compared to your dyed synthetic fibers that you see here on the opaque shirts, the polyester from this shirt is actually navy blue. It's been re-dyed before being discharged. This is why you have a vintage print. Is that if that's something you're looking for to have a distressed look print or a push through print that you can actually reverse your shirt and print to have that effect on a 100% cotton shirt. This is a great way to do it on poly, poly and cotton shirts. You can see both options come out differently depending on the dye. This is more opaque and darker color compared to this one, but the fibers that are military green come out very nice through the, uh, the white or clear discharge. So depending on what you're looking for, your Pantone colors. If you want, we can actually Pantone match discharge uh, with your desired color. So if you want a red or a special green, that's something we can do with pigments. We simply add pigments to a clear discharge to have different color effects. Um, the only thing to keep in mind, look at these shirts right here. This is natural discharge, but it's coming out completely different on both shirts. Pantone colors with discharge are about 90 to 85% accurate compared to Plastisol where it sits on top. We can actually match Pantone accurately. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're ordering discharge inks and discharge prints. Uh, with custom t-shirts. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out and call us. We'll be more than happy to help. Have a great day, guys.